Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to download the ISO file to install Windows 11 version 24H2. If you want to test the latest preview of Windows 11, in this case version 24H2 or the 2024 update, you can download the ISO file to create a bootable media in at least two ways. You can use the app dump script or you can use the Windows Insider program website. Either method will let you download the official files. The only difference is that the Insider website only allows you to download the previews when Microsoft believes they are ready for deployment and when using the up dump script you can download the iso file for any release of version 24h2 as soon as they are available it is important to know that you will be downloading a pre-release of windows that may contain bugs that may affect the user experience okay let's have into steps to download the latest iso file of Windows 11 version 24H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button and help YouTube to show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, I'm going to show you the steps to download the ISO file from the Windows Insider program. And to do that, you need to go to this website. Once on the website, you will have to sign in with your Microsoft account. Once you're in, scroll down and then select the edition, which in this case is going to be the latest preview available in the release preview channel. At the time of this recording, the latest preview is 26,100.560. But depending when you're watching this video, that number might be higher. Then click the confirm button. Now we're going to choose the language and then click the confirm button again. And now the website is going to create a link that is only valid for 24 hours. And now to download the ISO, just click the button and save it on your computer. Now for the second method, I'm going to show you the steps to download the version 24H2 ISO file using the app dump script or UUP dump tool. So this is basically a tool that lets you create a custom ISO file from any public preview of Windows 11. The tool is a collection of scripts to download the latest build of Windows 11 from the Microsoft servers and creates an unofficial ISO file that you can use to install the operating system. So first you need to go to the uupdump.net website. From here, we're just going to use this menu and we're going to choose the 24H2 release. And from here, you want to select the latest version available. And for most computers running Intel or AMD CPUs, you want to use the X64 option. And at the time of this recording, the latest bill available is 26,100.712. But the number might be higher, this one right here, depending on the time that you're watching this recording. Then select the language and click next. Now you want to choose the edition. And in here you want to choose the editions that you want that ISO file to include. In my case, I'm just going to choose the Windows 11 Pro and then click the next button. In here, you want to choose the download and convert to ISO option and check the include updates option right here as well and then click the Create Download Package. Save it to your computer. Now open the folder containing the scripts. Now you want to click the Extract All button, and then we're going to extract all the UUP dump scripts files. And here, we just need to right-click the UUP download preview that cmd file and select the run as administrator option click more info and you want to click the run anyway button click yes and now on this prompt just type r and press enter and now the tool is going to download all the files and it's going to create a custom iso for windows 11 version 24 h2 with the latest updates and this is going to take some time 
After the tool completes processing all the scripts and created the file and created the ISO file, you can press zero or Q to quit the script. And then on the extracted folder, you are going to find the ISO file for Windows 11 version 24H2. Now you have two options with the ISO file. You can right click on it and you can mount it on the computer. And then from here, you can start an in-place upgrade by just double clicking the setup.exe file. And from here, you can upgrade your computer without the need of using a bootable media. Remember that you can do an in-place upgrade on any version of Windows 11, or you can also do this on a Windows 10 computer. And of course, you can also use the ISO file to install the operating system on a virtual machine. Finally, you can also use third-party tools to create a bootable media. Usually the go-to app is the Rufus tool. And for that, you need to go to this website. And then from the download section, just click the latest version and download it on your computer. Then you just need to launch the application. To create the virtual media, you're going to need a USB flash drive of at least eight gigabytes, and you need to connect that to the computer. And then from the device setting, select that USB drive and just make sure that everything on that drive is going to be deleted. So if you have anything important, it's best to back it up before connecting it to the Rufus tool. Then you need to click the select button and then we need to look for the ISO file for Windows 11 version 24H2, the one you downloaded from the Windows Insider program, or if you use the UUP dump script, you need to go to the folder where you created the custom ISO and then select it and click the open button. From here, basically you want to leave the default settings. You can change the label if you want. And just make sure that the rest of the settings, they look as you see right now on the screen. Now you just need to click the start button. And from here, if you want to process the installation of Windows in the same way as using a bootable media created using the media creation tool from Microsoft, you don't have to choose any of the settings. However, if you want to install Windows 11 version 24H2, on a computer that is not supported, you can check this option to remove the requirements for RAM, the secure boot, and TPM. Also, if you want to use a local account, you can check this option to remove the requirement for an online Microsoft account. You can also create a local account automatically, and you can set that up right here. So you can type the name of the, the account how you want it to appear on your computer and just check this option. And starting with version 24H2, Microsoft is likely to start enforcing encryption. So it's going to enable BitLocker or device encryption on your computer from the installation process. So if you don't want to use encryption for any reason, for example, you can check this option right here. You don't have to choose all these options. You just need to use the ones that you need. Once you're ready, just click the OK button. Here, you need to confirm that everything on the flash drive is going to be erased. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Once the application finishes building the USB bootable media, you can use it to install the operating system on any computer. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.